Oh, one thing before I come off this live. So I'm actually surprised it took so long for people to start calling me this now. So what have people been calling me on TikTok now? So I'm surprised it took so long for so many people, because I knew it was coming, for so many people to start calling me a coal cunner. You know what that is like? Someone who's black on the outside, white on the inside. Now, you know, I'm sure I, you know, come across a certain way where people wouldn't think that I have certain viewpoints in that. And do you know what, yeah? It's quite sad, yeah, that like, and do you know what I've noticed as well? Because people have said to me, oh, why don't you go out and talk to the people then? Like, my people, innit? Yeah, and I'm like, fam, why am I wasting my time talking to people that believe they have to work five times as hard as other people for the same result? Why am I going to go and talk to people and try and convince them that we don't have it harder than white people and that when they have a defeatist mindset? And, and you know, I've come to the conclusion, um, this was before last year, I spoke about this in a video. It doesn't matter how you speak. It doesn't matter what area you come from. It doesn't matter how you come across. Unless you have some sort of aggression towards the police, unless you feel like, you know, white people have done us bad, as, as, unless you start hating white people, you're not considered to be a black person. Bro. I'm going to repeat that, blood. If you don't have a certain level of aggression towards the police, if you don't have a certain level of hatred towards white people, you're a coconut, blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, in order to, can be, to be considered black, you need to hate the police, you know. In order to be considered black, you need to have a certain level of aggression towards white people. In order to con be considered black, and that, you need to believe that you're a victim and you have it harder than everybody else because you're a black person. If you don't think like that, oh, you're not, you're not one of the black people then. Yeah, you're not one of us, black. Well, then I'm not one of you then. I'm not going to run around and, and think I'm a victim just because that's the, the mindset I'm supposed to have, black. You think like that, you're a bitch, blood. There's nothing more neaky, there is nothing more feminine, there's nothing more pathetic than having a victim defeatist mindset. Even if it is true that black people have it harder than white people and other races and that. Well, what's the best mindset to have in this situation? Because it's not lay down and throw in a white towel and, and give up. It's to say, all right, fuck it. We do have it harder than white people. Well, I'm going to work harder than every other white person on planet Earth. That's it, blood. They're, they're sitting around and, and moaning and complaining, but they're not going to do nothing. Black people have been doing that for the last 50 years. And where's that got us? Nowhere. So the only um solution and the only sort of mindset to have here is to think you know what fuck it I'll, fuck it we got it harder than white people we just got to outwork them then simple but man don't want to work man don't want to work and the thing is as well yeah like even if you're like a black person obviously there's there's certain personas of people where you could be like oh okay i can tell that person hangs around with white people i can tell that person hangs around with black people you can just tell that man just grow around black people yeah? but like i said if you if you have a certain mindset and that no they'll still call you a coconut and there's certain black people you can tell them man they probably grow up a lot, around a lot of white people and that but as long as they still have a victim mindset as long as they still have a certain level of aggression oh yeah you're still one of the black people the moment you start thinking that, you know what, maybe we don't have it hard. Uh, maybe the police aren't as bad as we think they are in that. You're a coconut. That's what they call you, fam. It's foolishness, blood. I'm not, I'm not just going to have a level of aggression. That's what these people believe, you know. Like, you're supposed to have a level of aggression towards the police. What for? What the fuck for? Just a victim, man.
And then these idiots will sit around and think, well, has he got so much properties? And why is he so ahead? Or maybe he's just lucky. I ain't fucking lucky, mate. Yeah? I come from the bottom of the social economic skill. How the fuck is that lucky, bro? I'm from a council estate. I'm not from a notorious council estate. Someone has been murdered on my estate before, though. Um, yeah, one you actually got stabbed as well. Um, and they flew a helicopter and it landed on my estate um, not too long. I think it was maybe last summer or the summer before that and that. But so I'm from a council estate, but I'm not from some notorious council estate and that. I might come from a poor home. I went to state, private, and um, public school like everybody else. Yeah, I was not come from no rich family and that. And I've managed to make something of myself. I'm not from, I'm not lucky. I'm not lucky. Yeah, 20K at 20 years old is good, fam. But just because you're at 20K at 20 years old doesn't mean it should be 30K at 30 years old. If it's 20K at 20 years old, it should be minimum 50K at 30 years old. I know, I know most people from council states. That's what I'm saying. Or council house. That's what I'm saying. So if I can make it, so can they. Because my mum didn't give me no money. My mum had no money to give me like that. Fam. No excuse. The problem is everyone wants, no one wants to delay gratification. Everyone wants um, things now, today. You gotta work, man, you gotta grind. You gotta, you gotta make sacrifice, bro.